everyone and welcome. My name is Brooke and you are at the Pink Frog. You're at the Wiggly Frog. So I'm wiggling. Um, today's dress that I'm gonna, today's dress is brought to you by Buttrick, the B6242. Today's dress is the Buttrick B6242. Um, I made this dress last year and I didn't execute it really well. In fact, I didn't execute the middle part of it at all. Now, if you look at the pattern, right here is a cummerbund and as you can see there are pleats and folds in the cummerbund and that looks very very beautiful and nice and very finished when i made this dress it did not say in the instructions and i'll show you there's your cummerbund there's the cummerbund attached cummerbund attached Nowhere in here, it says to cinch your cummerbund, but nowhere in the instructions does it say make folds in the cummerbund to resemble a cummerbund. It just, you add the stay to the back and you cinch the sides. And what ends up happening is the stay in the back is smaller than the front of the cummerbund. So it squishes it together. And what you end up having happen is the stay is small. The cummerbund is heavy because it's more fabric and it just falls forward like a kangaroo pouch. And it's not attractive at all. That's what happened with this dress. I'll show you really quickly. Oh, come here. Don't be difficult. I always talk to my clothing. Don't you? Just kidding. I don't talk to my clothes at all. What? Um, this is the dress I made last year. Now, I love this dress. And I really, really supersonically want it to be just like that picture. But as you can see, there's no cummerbund at all. It's a beautiful dress, but it's a clown dress. It's really, really super wide. That's the reason why I had to, in the video I had to pair it with a belt. Um, hello again. But in the dress that I'm wearing, so excited. There is a beautiful pleated cummerbund right here. Right here. And it has a little zipper in the side. I'll turn around to the back, side, to the front. Come in for a close up so you can see the fabric. It's a winter scene. And I am just pleased as punch with this dress. It's made with a, what's called a snuggly fabric, like a snuggly pajama fabric. And one of the things that I, that was, that upset me about last year is the fact that if things get difficult for me, I'll not follow, I'll try, I'll do the best that I can to follow through, but a lot of times I get really discouraged and I get frustrated and I'm like, okay, I gotta bypass this. I suck, this sucks, I suck, I can't understand the instructions really well. And I, I don't like to think that way about myself. I don't like to think that way about my sewing. And I know that I ha everybody is limited for time um, and, and I get that and I totally understand a lot of times I don't have the time to sit there and be like, fine details, let's do this. But I really want to and I'm I, in the back of my head for whatever purposes, I always hear the little voice say, you're not gonna get this, you're not gonna get this because it's not clear in the instructions. And I have a hard time understanding that sort of thing. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but I do. It was a big problem growing up as a kid and going to school. If it's not clear, it's hard for me to understand. And I could not, for the life of me, with this other dress, make the cummerbund be, behave and act or look like that. Because if you follow the instructions for this, at least for me, it doesn't work. But that cummerbund really needs to be there to make this look vintage and executed well and make it look very finished. So this year, I was like, I really love this dress and I really wanted to execute it well because this is a lovely dress. It really, I think it's beautiful. Now that I've executed this and I know how to do it, I'm like, yay, I'm a rocket scientist. I really, really, really am proud. And that's something that I wanna do moving forward for everything. Even if I just bring one dress every single month, as long as it's executed well, that's really important. Instead of bringing a ton of things that are not executed well, <laughs> executed well. 
Hello everybody, I'm back again. Sorry about that, I keep getting an error message playing on my, my camera and every time it does it, it shuts the camera down. So I'm back again and I've changed, I've put a, a turtleneck underneath my dress and um, it makes it really warm and toasty. It's a really windy, blistery day here. It's been sunny, but it's gotten real, it's become very cold. And this makes it nice so I can wear it inside and still be really toasty warm. One of the things that I wanted to share with you was talking about execution, and that's where we left off. I wanna make sure that I execute my things really well, my, my sewing really well, and the cummerbund was one. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to do was execute zippers, because zippers are something I have a huge, super hard time with. And even with this dress, I did the zippers, it was a side zipper, and I'm really glad and pleased with the way that turned out. It turned out really well. It came out well with the cummerbund because the cummerbund fabric is a lot thicker because it's condensed. So it kind of made it a little bit, um, I tried to go in and correct it, but it made it so the zipper shows here and it's more enclosed here, but I'm gonna have my arm down anyway. So I'm hoping that doesn't make a huge big difference. The other thing that I wanted to explain to you guys was is that kiddish behavior has some really good tips and tricks and one of them was using seam binding on the um, edges of her skirts and on the inside seams, and I did that all the way around. And it makes things so much easier when you're making your hem. It's a great tip. Um, so check out Kittenish Behavior. Her name is Sean. She makes really, really, really beautiful things. Um, she's got a beautiful cat in there named Chana. She's just got the neatest things ever on her channel, so I'm sure everybody knows her. Um, but if you haven't checked her out, she does all her bindings, her the insides of her dresses, beautifully to perfection. And when I saw what she had done, I was like, gosh, I've got to really give that a try. Again, another thing that I gained in my toolbox to help me in the future to put my dresses and make them more finished and to make a better product. So that makes me really happy and that's something that I really want to do and I want to strive for this year. The other thing is is to make a smaller in footprint in the world. So I'm going to be bringing fabric this year into fashions that are um, things that I already own. Um, I'm The next video I'm going to be bringing to you guys is one dress and it's going to be my Easter dress. Um, and it's the Easter bunny fabric that I brought last year and it's gonna be in a really cute dress. Um, and I want to start using all those fabrics because I went back and I looked back at my videos. I'm like, I'm bringing all this fabric and I'm not making it into any, excuse me, oh, pardon me. I'm not making it into anything. So again, I, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna buy more fabric because I've said that before. We all know how that turned out, but I am gonna try and be more responsible and really, 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 execute on trying to make sure that I don't go overboard when I buy something. It's not something that's, it's something that it's really special. Anyway, so I am done with showing you guys this dress. I hope that you guys like it. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below and I will be glad to bring you more videos. I will see you soon and have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.